Welcome to MathCAD Primers. In this video, I'll be showing you how to solve quadratic inequalities. Suppose problem 4 in my homework says, solve the inequality x squared plus 3x is greater than 10 by factoring. When working with a quadratic, a good first step is often to move all the terms of the expression to one side of the statement. This strategy works very well with quadratic inequalities. In this problem, once I state the inequality is greater than zero, I will need to find the values of x that make the expression positive. Since you are familiar with quadratics, it will not surprise you to hear that I am looking for a set of values, not a single number. I will use my knowledge of quadratic equations to identify when the expression is positive. Another way of thinking about this is to identify when the graph of the parabola is above the x-axis and when the graph is below the x-axis. Once again, this makes the roots of the quadratic important because the x-axis is the boundary between positive and negative values on the graph. Since the roots of the quadratic will help me to identify the crossing point from positive to negative values, I can start by thinking about the location of the roots of the graph. When possible, I like to use factoring to find the roots. Since the constant term is negative 10 and the middle term is positive 3x, I can tell that I am looking for a pair of factors of 10, and that one factor will be positive and the other will be negative. This is because the product of my factors must be negative. In addition, if I need a positive sum of 3x when adding the factors together, the larger factor will have to be the positive one. I can quickly make a table of possible factors. Negative 1 and 10, and negative 2 and 5. There will always be only one factor pair that works. In this case, it's negative 2 and 5. I can now rewrite the inequality as x minus 2 times x plus 5 is greater than 0. Now for some thinking. I'm multiplying two quantities and the result will always be greater than 0. Logically, what does this mean? It means that either x plus 5 and x minus 2 are both positive or they are both negative. Let's write this down. Now I can express this mathematically. x minus 5 is greater than 0, and x minus 2 is greater than 0, or x minus 5 is less than 0, and x minus 2 is less than 0. Here's what I get when I solve for x. x is greater than negative 5, and x is greater than 2, or x is less than negative 5, and x is less than 2. If I take a look at these statements, I can tell that they can be simplified. Here, I can just write x is greater than 2, because anything greater than 2 is definitely going to be greater than negative 5. Here, I can just write that x is less than negative 5, because anything less than negative 5 is definitely going to be less than negative 2. So my final answers are x is greater than 2, or x is less than negative 5. Now it's time to check and reflect. I can see my answer if I make a graph using MathCAD's plotting capabilities. By making a plot of x plus 5 times x minus 2 is greater than 0, using the Boolean greater than operator, I get a graph that uses 1 to show when an expression is true and 0 to show when an expression is false. As you can see from the graph, any number less than negative 5 is true and any number greater than 2 is also true. Everything in between, though, is false. Does this work for the quadratic, too? I'll define g of x as x squared plus 3x minus 10 and plot it on the same graph. Notice how the roots align with the Boolean plot of the results. Now I can see that my answer is both a range of values where x squared plus 3x is greater than 10 and a partial description of the parabola. What I mean by that is my solution tells me where the parabola is above the x-axis and below the x-axis. In summary, to solve a quadratic inequality like this one, I set the expression equal to 0 and factored it as a product of binomials as if I were going to find the roots. But instead of using the zero product property to find the roots, I use the factors of x squared plus 3x minus 10 to rewrite the inequality. 
This step helped me to generate a logical statement that I could use to find the range of values for x that made the inequality true. To check my work and see the answer better, I used MathCAD Prime's plotting tools to show how the answer I derived relates to the graph of the parabola.